All right, this is a very early sneak peek. This is a, a new proof of concept um, for um, an enhancement coming for Prop OS 6. So I'm calling this enhanced battle mode um, with rehearsal and choreograph mode. Um, so as the name says, um, this is actually the uh, feature I was chasing when I came up with battle mode. Um, so in battle mode, um, which is in Prop OS 5.7, um, you, the idea was to be able to do clashes and lockups without having to use the aux button. So, like when I would do stuff with my son, just for fun even, you know, we would do really basic type rehearsal where we'd say, alright, we'll do this number of clashes, then we'll lock up, X, then we'll do a couple more clashes, and then we'll lock up again, and you'd be practicing and everything, but then when it came time to actually do it, um, we would, you know, somebody would forget to hold the button for lockup, or somebody would, finger would slip off of it. Um, so now, um, what I've done is I've actually made it so that you can have the Sabres actually remember a rehearsed uh, set of clashes and lockups and then continue to redo them um, so that you can use it over and over again um, just with a choreograph mode. And this works, it uses battle mode controls when you're in choreograph mode. When you're in rehearsal mode, it's the normal control so that you can differentiate the clashes and the lockups. Um, in addition, I've actually made it so that while you're in choreograph mode, the power button gets deactivated automatically. That way you can record an entire sequence and you don't have to worry about accidentally hitting the button and messing, you know, turning your saber off. Um, and um, while in rehearsal and choreograph mode, it actually changes the clash and lockup sounds um, to work sequentially so that um, every time you do it from rehearsal and choreograph mode, it'll repeat the same sounds. It also would technically let you list the sounds in order that you wanted if you had, a, if you were really specific on what you wanted your actual choreograph to be. Um, and then if you go to normal operation, it just returns to you know the random clash and lockup sounds. Um, now this is really early, um, but it is all the functions there, but the controls aren't finalized, the prompts and everything I haven't finalized. Um, so a lot will probably change as we test this more, um, but I wanted to just give it because I'm super psyched that I've got it working. Um, this is something I've actually been chasing for a while, and to actually have it all working uh, like I envisioned is, is awesome. Um, so I'm going to do a really simple kind of show of it. Um, so I'm going to put this into uh, rehearsal mode, and again, the controls may change, so don't pay too much attention to the controls right now. Um, these are just so I can test the functionality. As I kind of work through it and check it, uh, you know, get everything tested, I'll probably figure out what the best controls are. Um, but let's go into uh, rehearsal mode. And right now it just had a little quick voice prompt to let me know that I'm actually in rehearsal mode. So now while you're in rehearsal mode, now um, we were trying with my son and I to shoot this video, but uh, it's just too small a space to do it effectively. Um, so, um, but we were able to get it pretty well good, um, but just because of limited space, it was tough to get it on camera. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just doing it myself. So you would plan out, obviously, with whoever you're going to duel, um, how many clashes you're going to do, and then go into a lockup, etc. And you use your regular control. So I'm going to do, uh, we'll do three clashes and then a lockup. So one clash, two clash, three clash, and then we'd say, all right, this time we're going to lock up. So we're gonna, I'm going to hold the aux button like I would for normal lockup. I have my lockup, let go of my button, and then we'll do two more clashes. And then this time I'll do close it out with another lockup. And now when I'm all done with my sequence, I'm going to save it. Save. So now I've saved that uh, rehearsal sequence. Now, uh, right now I'm actually automatically in choreograph mode. So now, I'm not going to have to use any buttons. The controls are going to be the same as battle mode when it comes to releasing your lockup. So your lockup is still going to be a pull away to end it, but it's actually going to use those recorded clashes um, and lockups in order. So I had, I believe I had three clashes, then a lockup, then two clashes, then a lockup. So it'll be one, two, three. Now, no button. This will do lockup. And the lockup. Now... Another clash, another clash, and then a lockup, and that's all I recorded. And now the saber is actually in normal operation. Um, and if I wanted to, I could switch it into battle mode, etc. Um, now, how choreograph mode begins and ends, I still have to work those controls out. Um, again, this was just for testing. But the other thing is, um, during that sequence, my power button was deactivated, but I didn't show it. If I turn the saber off, and now I'm going to uh, turn it back on and this will be a different control. Again, the controls are going to change. 
it's actually going to do the exact same sequence again because it remembers it. Oops. There we go. So now it's in choreograph mode again. So now it's going to do my one, two, three, and then this will be the lockup. End it. And then another lockup. Um, and then this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the power button. So we'll do... So now I'm going to just do... I'm going to be mid-sequence. So I'm going to do one clash. Now power button doesn't do anything because I'm in the middle of a recorded sequence. The power button's deactivated. But if I finish out the sequence now, the power button will work. So two, three, lockup, and the lockup. One, two, lockup and the lockup, and now my power button works. So um, there's still a lot of uh, testing. There's still probably going to be changes to this, um, but the basic functionality of having the saber remember the clashes and the lockups that you rehearse and be able to repeat them um, all the time in a choreograph mode um, is all working great. Now, you don't have to be in choreograph mode, so you can do a rehearsal save the rehearsal sequence to it and then just use the blade normally and then when you're ready go into choreograph mode um, so that's where all the controls and stuff will come into play is how you get in and out of all this stuff also the prompts so that you understand what's happening um, i still have to work all that out um, but the power button being deactivated during a recorded sequence works great um, the uh, repetition of having the clash and lockup sounds be sequential is all working um, and of course, it's saving all of the clashes and lockups. So I'm really excited to have it functioning. Um, this was kind of a, this actually was what I was originally chasing when I figured out how to do the, the, the lockup without a button and the pull away to end it. That's what created battle mode, which has been great. Uh, but this is the next evolution to battle mode. So um, the naming may change too, because it kind of doesn't roll off the tongue. But right now it's uh, enhanced battle mode with rehearsal and choreograph mode. Um, that is a lot to say, but that's what I've got right now. Um, but lots more testing coming, um, lots more to do with it, but it's, it's working as expected. So I'm super happy. Um, so all I can say is there's so much more coming. Um, and as we, uh, get it all figured out, um, I'll keep showing it. So thanks everyone. Uh, talk to you soon.